गुड मॉर्निंग डियर स्टूडेंट्स उदय आर्या साध्विका अलमा एंड प्रभास गुड मॉर्निंग टू ईच ऑन ऑफ यू सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू रैप अप द लेसन दैट इज लैंडस्केप ऑफ द सोल सो लेट्स आई गोइंग टू बिगिन इट शॉर्टली जस्ट वेट फॉर अ वाइल मानसी मयूर प्राखर गुड मॉर्निंग टू इच वन ऑफ यू सो लेट्स जस्ट रिवाइज दिस कंसेप्ट वंस फर्स्ट व्हाट इज द कंसेप्ट ऑफ डाओ दैट इज द मिस्टीरियस वर्क्स ऑफ द यूनिवर्स in the chinese story the landscape painting is admired for its outward appearance by the emperor who got it painted but the artist shows the true meaning of his work while the emperor rules his kingdom the artist knows the way into his painting the this way or path within the painting is the dao the mysterious work of the universe the soul of the artist merges with the essence of his work so dear students here in chinese painting it's not only the outward beauty that is represented in the uh, art or the panel but it is the uh, the message the inner soul that is that the painter wanted the viewers to look is something what matters okay it's not the exterior part of the painting which is uh, Uh, which is appreciated in chinese art but it is the uh, the the soul of painting okay it is it is something uh, which the painter wanted to convey is something what uh, you know the viewers are supposed to know supposed to uh, you know discover explore that makes the difference okay and that is where uh, it uh, differentiates or it it it, it, it is different from the western Uh, art okay so chinese landscape versus western painting once again let me uh, explain you very quickly classical chinese landscape painting does not focus on realism or the actual view unlike the western painting which is figurative or symbolic okay so chinese classical landscape wants you to um, look into the uh, inner essence of painting uh european painters depict the actual landscape with delicate realism and the painter would like the viewers to look at it from his perspective from a specific angle okay so european painting is more or less uh, it is uh, it is it is understood and it is something which he, which deals with the external view of uh, the painting whereas the chinese view is internal the chinese view may not be so realistic or it does not um it may not give you the aesthetically beautiful look as the western painting but chinese uh, painting uh, you know has inner meaning hidden meaning which the viewers need to understand and it is possible for viewers to understand the inner beauty only if he explodes the painting if you want or he dis- discovers the painting okay from uh his uh, soul okay it is something not uh, superficial it is something which is uh, which should come from inside the heart okay whereas in uh, european painting it is something more of exterior painting okay is something which is uh, superficial more of superficial okay on the contrary chinese painting allow the freedom to view from any angle uh, okay european painting is specific um you know limited to a specific angle whereas chinese painting is not limited to a specific angle you know, from any angle uh, the viewers can uh, 
you know have an experience but uh, in line with the message that was initially conveyed by the painter that this freedom of movement if enhanced in a horizontal scroll where the viewer can choose the speed and section of viewing thus adding a dimension of time not known to any other form of painting the chinese painter does not want anyone to borrow his eyes he wants the viewers to enter his mind okay the chinese painter wants the viewers to enter his mind to read what he wanted to convey in his uh, painting okay so that is what was required actually okay that is what was uh, required you know the concept of sangui now uh, i shall explain it today the concept of what is sanshui okay so mm, mayur or anybody else can tell me whether the sound is clear uh, if the sound is loud and clear please uh, convey the message to me or i need to raise the volume is it audible to um, all of you mm, okay sadvika thank you uh thank you so much uh, now today we are going to learn what is the concept of sanshui sanshui means chinese paintings develop on the concept of sanshui which means mountain water mountain water means mountain and water concept okay that is what is the concept of sanshui like uh, you will come to know what is mountain mountain water why mountain water combination is given we will discuss the mountain rises vertically to heaven and it is called yang okay the mountain as you know rises vertically to heaven okay uh, so it is the it is called yang okay whereas water is horizontal and resting on the earth water is always horizontal and it rests on the earth so it is called in chinese uh, language in so it's between yang yang and in there is also the presence of a third element which is often overlooked it is called the middle void middle void uh, what is middle void will come to you know middle void means middle space you can say so chinese uh, the concept of shan shui is based on mountain water mountain is uh, something which rises vertically to heaven and uh, water in chinese is called yang uh, sorry yin yin which uh, is horizontal and resting on the earth and between this yang that is mountain and yin that is water there is a middle void what is this middle void yang and yin are not opposites they complement each other okay one is rising vertically onto the sky another is uh, flowing horizontally onto the earth understood uh, so they maintain the equilibrium in the universe they maintain the entire ecosystem of this universe okay yang is active and yang has been the mountain has been compared to the male counterpart male muscular uh, muscular uh, you know counterpart of yin you can say the river yang is active and masculine yin is feminine and the receptive concept of energy okay yin is feminine okay and yang is masculine uh, so they come together yang and yin come together and that is where the entire universe the entire force of the universe rests and their interaction takes place in the middle void which is depicted uh, by the unpainted white space in chinese landscape so in the chinese landscape in the chinese painting you will find some unpaint unpainted white space where there is nothing painted so that is what is the middle void that is what is the middle void where yang and yin come together 
and that is where when the yang and yin come together the place where the meat the place where the meat is the uh, is the uh, middle a void actually okay so what is the middle void the middle void is the space where uh, yang and yin come together that is the middle void which is depicted by the unpainted white space in Chinese landscape. It is similar to the holding of the breath in the yogic practice of pranayam. Like uh, you might have heard about pranayam. Pranayam means it is inhaling of breath as well as exhaling. Okay. So after we inhale and before we exhale, we need to retain the breath for some time. So that retention of the breath in yogi practice of pranayam, that is what is called the middle void. Okay. Uh, so middle void has been illustrated with the help of an example in the form of pranayam here. Okay. Uh, so it is similar to the holding of the breath in the yogi practice of pranayam. Similarly, man plays a fundamental role as a channel of communication between heaven and earth. Okay. Uh, so who is a channel of communication? It is man, human beings. Human beings will go for painting. Human beings will you know, go for all the innovative kinds of work. Okay. H human beings will maintain the ecosystem of the universe. Okay. So human beings is the eye of the landscape according to Chinese uh, painting it is the human beings okay which is creating everything okay which is maintaining the ecosystem of the universe and it is the human being uh, which is responsible for maintaining yang and yin and middle space okay everything it is the human being which is playing a fundamental role as a channel of communication between the heaven and the earth okay heaven is represented by the yang and earth is represented by the yin that is water okay heaven is the masculine uh, part and earth is the feminine part of the universe his presence means the man's presence therefore is essential because he is the eye of the landscape without the work of man nothing is possible no uh, innovation is possible no creation is possible that is why man is the eye of the landscape okay so this is what uh, okay so this is what has been uh, said here you see here the same thing is uh, said here like sanctuary what is sanctuary as i explained to you uh, sanctuary is a chinese concept of art okay which means mountain water which is mountain water. It is used together to represent the world landscape. The world landscape. It is used together to represent the world landscape. The two complementary poles, yin and yang, of an image reflect the Taoist view. So, Taoist view is that, that the, the interaction between yang and yin, okay. Uh, where the innovation takes place, where the creativity takes place, is something what is explained in sanctuary. Okay, now, the concept is expressed as sanctuary, literally mountain water, which used together to represent the word uh, landscape. More than two elements of an image, these represent two complementary poles reflecting the Taoist view of the universe. The mountain is yang, reaching vertically towards heaven stable warm and dry in the sun while the water is in horizontal and resting on the earth fluid moist and cool the interaction of in the receptive feminine aspect of the universal energy and its counterpart in active and masculine is of course a fundamental notion of Taoism okay so what is Taoism Taoism is the uh, concept where it is described that uh, it is de described that uh, yang that is the mountain and the yin that is the water uh, at a certain point they meet okay one another uh, one represents the masculine that is yen rep rep represents the masculine uh, masculine um, you know 
form whereas the in that is the water represents the uh, feminine then uh, you know universal feminine aspect uh, receptive and universal energy okay and the place where they interact with one another they meet one another is the fundamental notion of Taoism notion, notion means concept what is often overlooked is an essential third element third middle the essential third element what is the third element the middle void where their interaction takes place okay this can be compared with the yogic practice of pranayam breathe in retain breathe out the suspension of breath is the void where meditation occurs okay in pranayam what happens when you suspend the breath for some time that is where the actual meditation occurs the middle void is essential nothing can happen without it hence the importance of the white unpainted space in chinese landscape so the middle void has been represented in chinese painting by the unpainted space in uh, chinese landscape okay so unpainted uh, part of the unpainted white part of the chinese painting is what is called the middle void or the space where the yang meet the in okay mountain meets water this is also where man finds a fundamental role in that space between heaven and earth he becomes the conduit of communication between both poles of the universe okay both poles of the universe one is the mountain another is the uh, or you can say one, one is the heaven one is the earth they are two poles because they are uh, extremely opposite to one another okay uh, they are far away from one another that is why uh, who is maintaining a conduit between heaven and earth it is the human beings okay who is the creation of god and who is uh, maintaining the balance between heaven and earth okay so that is his presence his presence here refers to the presence of man his presence is essential even if it's only suggested okay far from being lost or oppressed by the lofty peaks he is in francois chang's wonderful expression the eye of the landscape the man is the eye of the landscape because it is the man who is maintaining a beautiful ecosystem in the universe okay so the third the the third element okay the third element uh, that is helping uh, heaven and earth to come together is uh, the middle void okay that is uh, the human beings who is representing all this okay who is bringing about an union between heaven and earth okay who is maintaining the uh, who is sustaining the uh, life sub system actually okay the life the spontaneity of life and death who is maintaining that ecosystem it is the human beings who are the conduit what the channel of communication between heaven and earth so that particular concept has been given in Ch chinese painting therefore chinese painting does not appear to be as aesthetically beautiful as the western painting but chinese painting uh, describes you or conveys a very inner spirit that it, the, con the uh, conveys a very uh, inner message a very important message okay that the painter wants us to understand um, uh, because the painter uh, wants us to see not from his point of uh, from his eyes but from his mind we need to um, explore the chinese painting we need to discover the hidden meaning that is given by the chinese painter therefore we need to read his mind not his eyes only okay whereas in china uh, western painting it is the external external part which is given more prominence or which is uh, what has uh, you know attracted the human beings uh, because you can uh, look at western painting from a specific angle or a specific point of view whereas when it comes to chinese painting uh, you need to uh, look at this painting from multiple points of view or multiple angles the chinese painter wants you to look his heart 
his mind not his eyes alone okay so that is what is the difference between chinese art and the western or european art okay now you see recent invention of uh, um, some concept like brute art outside brute first of all let us go through when french painter jean uh, fat mooted the concept of art brute in the 1940s the art of the untrained visionary was of minority interest from its almost veiled beginnings outsider art has gradually become the fastest growing area of interest in contemporary art internationally okay so outsider brute means our uh, outsider art what does it mean this genre is described as the art of those who have no right to be artists as they have received no formal training so um, there are some people who without any formal training also can uh, you know uh, paint beautiful things or uh, you know go for um, all this beautiful uh, uh, art uh, they belong to this particular school of painting that is called art group okay so art brute is described as the art of those who have no right to be artist why because they receive no formal training yet show talent and artistic insight their works are a stimulating contrast to a lot of mainstream of offerings their works are a stimulating contrast so let's find out around that time dibubat was propounding his concept in india an untutored genius was creating paradise years ago the little patch of jungle that he began clearing to make himself a garden sculpted with stone and um, recycled material is known to the world today as the rock garden at chandigarh okay so rock garden at chandigarh this is made by an amateur artist called nak chand okay nak chand its 80 year old creator director nak chand is now hailed as india's biggest contributor to outsider art without any formal education okay he is out of his ex, uh, experience uh, out of his sort of expertise and out of his idea he has made such a beautiful concept okay uh, so uh, that is the example of uh, brute art okay uh, then you can see here Mm, the 50th the uh, 50th issue of raw vision a uk based magazine pioneer in outsider art publications features nak chan and his rock garden sculpture women by the waterfall on its anniversary issue cover okay so uh, he has got lot of coverage nak chan okay he has been featured by uk based magazine also Uh, the notion of art group or raw art was of works that were in their raw state as regards cultural and artistic influences anything and everything from a thin tin to a sink to a broken down car could be material for a work of art something nakchan has taken to dizzying heights okay so nakchan he said that anything like the waste material Uh, can be also an object for uh, brute art or work of art he said uh, so best out of waste something uh, okay like this so next chance he said that it could be anything anything from a tin to a sink or a broken down car anything can be a beautiful object for uh, for work of art okay so it's your creativity which should be uh taken into consideration and which, which is normally taken into consideration in this particular art form okay it is uh, not a normal traditional form of art uh, form where you need to go for training and go for the painting and all that uh it is something which is uh an out of your creativity without have, uh, having the formal training also you can go for this sort of art okay uh so next chand is a pioneer of this in india Uh, recognizing his art as an outstanding testimony of the difference a single man can make when he lives his dream the switch commission for unesco will be honoring him by way of a european exposition of his works the five month uh, the five month interactive interactive show realm of nakchan beginning october will be held at leading museums in switzerland 
Belgium, France and Italy. The biggest reward is walking through the garden and seeing people enjoy my creation. Okay, so that is what uh, next uh, next chance says. It is an article from newspaper, of course, uh, which was published in 2005. Okay, so now you can see here, as you can see uh, here, uh, concept of outside art, outsider art. Outsider art means those who did not have any formal education or it's otherwise called brute art, okay, art brute you can say. Outsider art or art brute is a concept presented by a French painter and named Jean uh, de Buffet in 1940s. It is the art of those artists who have received no formal training yet show immense talent and artistic insight. This form of art has been has seen rapid growth internationally in the contemporary art world. The style of art which belongs to this category of artists is unconventional and he is described to belong to those who have no right to be artists because they have had no formal training even though they show immense talent and artistic insight. However, their works stimulate the viewer much more than the ones done by trained professionals. Okay, uh, so that is what is the concept and next chant is the pioneer of this particular genre of art in India. Uh, and you can see here, known to the world as Rock Garden of Chandigarh, its creator next chant is hailed as the Rock Garden of Chandigarh. That its creator next chant is hailed as India's biggest contributor to outsider art. He is uh, the biggest contributor to outsider art. He received various awards and acclamations across the globe. A UK based magazine pioneering outsider art publication featured Nakchan and this rock garden sculpture on their anniversary issue cover. Okay, so you can see here recognizing his outstanding example of converting dream to reality the switch commission for unesco honored him by exhibiting his works through europe okay a five month long interactive show realms of next chance began in october 20, 2005 at all leading museums in switzerland belgium france and italy okay so can you imagine his uh, fame it has spread um, in different uh, European countries and uh, so dear students that's all about uh, landscape of the soul so let's uh, recapitulate quickly Chinese painter Wu Daoji made a landscape painting for the emperor's palace wall the emperor was highly impressed by the natural elements in the painting the painter showed a cave in the painting and drawing the emperor's attention to a cave in the painting the painter told him that a spirit dwelt there. He entered the cave and never returned to this world. Uh, see, this appears to be uh, very unreal, but what the writer wants to mean here is that it was so, um, you know, it, indeed the Chinese, uh, um, the painter, uh, indeed is to consider uh, that there is a soul or there is a spirit there in the art okay uh, in the art in the paint uh, that he has made okay the chinese painters emphasize on artistic insight on the inner soul of art whereas western painters emphasize on illusionistic likeness making it true to life sanctuary is the fundamental concept of taoism sanctuary means mountain water the mountain is yang while water is yin. Yang vertically rises up and is warm, stable and dry. Yin is feminine, horizontal and resting on the earth. It is fluid, moist and cold. There is middle void where yang and yin meet. It is a very important part and is represented as the white unpainted space in Chinese painting. In the empty space between heaven and earth, man plays. In this empty space, that is the middle void, in this middle void, man is important. Why? Because man plays fundamental role as a channel of communication between heaven and earth. Man is thus considered the eye of the landscape. So, man is the eye of the landscape. 
because it is the man who creates the landscape okay it is the man who shows the relation the intrinsic the 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 intimate relation between heaven and earth the entire ecosystem of the universe it is the man that is why he is referred to as the eye of the landscape the concept of art brute or raw art was first brought by a french painter otherwise known as outsider art it is that category of artists who have not received any formal training but show immense talent and artistic insight okay so outsider art belongs to those artists who did not receive any formal education okay in art and paint india's greatest contributor to outsider art has been nag chand and he used all imaginable recycled material and gave creativity a new dimension so by using all recycled material he gave creativity a new dimension he received international fame and recognition so dear students uh, that's all about this okay you can for further details you can go through this uh, you know article here uh you might have written down the meaning uh, this question answers also okay so please write down this question answers mm, i hope it will be okay uh, you shall enjoy uh, it's a bit difficult concept but uh, it's okay i hope you understood the concept of european painting and chinese painting okay so anyway uh, that's all about it dear students for the day Uh, we shall meet in our next class with uh, uh, do you have any uh, particular uh, suggestion to me regarding the next topic uh, which topic do you want me to explain in the next class um, if you have any particular suggestion regarding any particular topic you can reach out to me uh, you can suggest now uh, also um, otherwise you can um, text me with your suggestion okay uh, so we will meet let us wind up today and we will meet in our next class day after tomorrow okay bye bye take care have a nice time